Venture. We are founded in uh, 2013, so a pretty young company. Uh, we are founded because we uh, uh, won a tender on the Dutch uh, military market from the Ministry of Defence in, in, in Holland. Uh, what our main product at the moment is, is uh, an ATTV. ATTV is uh, standing for Air Transportable Tactical Vehicle. It's, uh, it's a vehicle that we are now uh, making for Dutch Special Forces. It's a vehicle with, uh, with high off-road capabilities. Uh, it has a really good handling in off-road situations. The special uh, features of the vehicle are that we have uh, four-wheel steering, so our rear axle can make the same angle as our front axle, to have really good uh, yeah, maneuverability in the, uh, in the field. We choose SolidWorks because the guys who started this company in 2013 had experience with SolidWorks, but mainly because SolidWorks in combination with PDM and our ERP system uh, are linked to each other. So it's transporting the information from PDM into ERP and that makes it uh, uh, yeah, easy for us to have a good connection between our engineering department and our uh, uh, purchase department. One of the things that's very important here is configuration management. We really need to be sure that we know every time what we are making, what the configuration is and what the configuration maybe will be or was in the, in the past. And for that we are using PDM. We have a good revision management in the system. We have got a, a workflow in PDM that makes it possible to go with each drawing to, uh, to different states. So R&D phase, engineering phase and finally ends with a serial phase. And serial parts can be used then for our production vehicles. Not only that, because also SolidWorks have, has of course a big package of, uh, of programs. So we are using here also Composer for our um, technical documentation. We supply a vehicle, but we, uh, next to the vehicle we also supply um, the workshop documentation, uh, vehicle documentations, and uh, that's all made with, uh, with Composer. We also use uh, SolidWorks simulations for more critical parts to make uh, uh, analysis of uh, strength of a, of a part, of course. Uh, another reason that we use simulations is to uh, make it possible to have uh, parts lighter, parts that we uh, developed in the past and we want to re, uh, redesign. We can use uh, simulations to get it uh, the same, to give it the same strength, but make it, uh, uh, make it lighter. One of the challenges of our exhaust system was the first part of the uh, exhaust pipe, and uh, it's a downpipe with an S-shaped form. Uh, as you can see, it, is, uh, it has uh, much degrees of uh, uh, freedom in a uh, really small space. The tools of SolidWorks help us really uh, to, to design uh, this kind of product uh, with the 3D sketch functionality and the weldment profiles. And uh, as you can see, it's made out of several uh, small parts of tubes and uh, uh, welded together to make this kind of form. By the use of SolidWorks, we can see that, the, that this product fits in a really small space that we have and does not interfere with the uh, chassis and starter. SolidWorks makes it possible to uh, also let the customer see what kind of solutions we have, uh, uh, we have uh, worked out before we have to make a prototype or anything like that. We directly can make something like a, a more like a, a pre-serial vehicle to have the final solution uh, ready for the customer and ready for, uh, for testing.